we have one of our favorite guests ever. I know, I love We this have girl. 64 <laughs> years young and gorgeous. <laughs> Elizabeth Lambert and gorgeous. She's amazing. One of the top videos on my channel, and she's gonna show us what she eats in a day to have this amazing this. energy, this glow. And she, how long have you been raw vegan? I've been raw vegan for like, gosh, since early two thousands. Yeah, so, so a long so time. Oh, wow. Long term. Oh, We're wow. gonna find out what she eats, her daily okay. routine, fats, calories, all these things, all fruits this. to greens. Let's get into it. <laughs> I'm so happy that I'm here because this is such a treat for me being in the kitchen with you. Is really Me too. Cute. Being this with really, you yeah, is really fun. You know it's always fun when fellow raw vegans get exactly. together. And Elizabeth's energy in person is just next level. So <laughs> no, we're having fun, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. So every we all want to know what you eat. We okay. can't wait to see. So first, I start. So I'm, we won't make it, but when I, every morning I start out with celery juice. That's okay. what I, that's what I'll have first. So I have raw celery juice. I'll drink that first. Then we get to the juices, which I love. So I will make a ooh, you okay? <laughs> kale. Okay. So I'll I'll make a kale, um, spinach. Um, here we'll talk. And Elizabeth, okay, this is my favorite juicer on earth. If you guys watch my channel, you know that it doesn't even compare to anything else. And Elizabeth's never used a Nama, so we're gonna get Can her review. Can you believe this? I can't believe I've never I can't used believe it before. And lemon, right? Oh lemon yeah, for sure, lemon. Okay. Let's start with that, okay, and perfect. then we'll load it when it gets going. So the pulp comes out here. Oh, and the, the juice is, but so look, you have to. Uh, you can just bake this. Look, and it's closed. Like you can be like, it doesn't pour you can be like, let me get my, my flour. Oh. Like you don't have to be there. I love that. It's nice. It's cool. And this is my first experience with the Nama It's great. Juicer. If you guys want a Nama, I'll put my code down below. I highly recommend oh, yeah, yeah. it. It's really good. It's amazing. I love this. Okay. Yeah. So we'll do, then we'll also add, we can add a cucumber. Oh, and then we have to add the ginger. So you guys were asking me about ginger. This is so good. I, I have tons of ginger. I probably have three times this ginger every okay. single day. Wow. At least. You probably do too, don't you? Yeah, I have a lot of ginger too. I have a lot of ginger. I love it. Okay, so then you just lift this. Yeah, lift the lid. You can wait okay. till it gets more full. Okay. And then lift the lid. And can you open? Oh, you can just dump it yeah, in. Yeah, you can dump it in through there too, okay. see? That's amazing. Oh my God. You gotta get one. It's I really good. I have to get one. This is amazing. Oh my God. Okay, oh, and then we'll put, let's put apple in it too. Let me get an apple. Yeah. So, um, when you're juicing, depending upon if you're wanting to release weight or not, depends upon how much fruit you put in it. But for me, I pack a lot of greens into my, into my juice and smoothie. Wait a second. Show everybody how you look. <laughs> well, like, Kevin, get in here. We got to look at this. Turn around. Do a little salsa dance. <laughs> 64 years old. You can't buy these legs, guys. So let's get back in the kitchen in the and start doing what she's doing now. <laughs> I love you. Okay. <laughs> you have to earn them in the gym. Thank you. It's true. Yeah, you have to earn them. Yeah, you it's the buy gym muscle. too, right? It's not That's, just. It's the gym. It's what, well, it's what you eat that gives you the, um, it's what you eat that gives you the, whatchamacallit, the energy to do yeah. that. Yeah. And so oh I want to ask you too, do you keep your greens? Oops, I can't pack it too much. Okay. Do you keep your greens and fruits? Like, do you do a certain percentage of greens versus I, fruit? So for me, I'm not technical about anything. Yeah, okay. I never count calories, ever, ever, ever. I don't ever count calories. I like I, that, me too. Yeah, I, because like, how many calories are in here? Like I even, don't even with know. the apple, I mean, if you're eating, if you're eating this way, yeah. you're not, you're just nourishing your body in beautiful ways. Yeah. Okay, so what else do you put in your juice? So, well, what do you put in your juice? That's the question. You want some romaine, right? So, definitely put romaine in the juice. So, I'm gonna yeah. put some romaine in there. Okay. And okay. so, how many green juices do you drink a day? God, probably at least two. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because it's. Here's the thing. You guys look at all the stuff that we've packed in here. Now you can release the lid. Okay. Oh, <laughs> see, it's clean too. It's good juice. Oh my god, it looks so good. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh my god, it smells so good too. Yeah. Oh my god. There's okay. nothing like green juice. Do you ever no. drink fruit juice or no? No. Never no. Just never. I never because if I'm gonna have my fruit. Okay, so here, you guys ask what I eat in a day. This, especially in, this is in season right now. I have watermelon every single day. Yeah. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know because I love my watermelon. We should crack this baby open. Yeah. Okay. This, I can sit down and you know it's good if it cracks. So but you start your day with not, the green juice and then you always have watermelon? I always have watermelon, but watermelon I won't have the first thing in the morning. I usually have my melon. No. 
That's good. That looks good. It's that not looks, seated, but it's good. Yeah, you know what? The seat, it's really hard. It's really hard to find seated watermelon in, in LA. Yeah. Yes. Same with Toronto. You okay. just do the best you can. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Oops. Well, that's the thing. You just. This looks really good. Oh, it's good. Mm. Ah. There's nothing like raw foods. I never did this when I used to eat like chicken and stuff. No. Oh, that chicken leg. Like, you know what I mean? This is so, 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 so good. Like, insanely good. Wow. So people ask, like, how do you get full on these raw foods, Elizabeth? What do oh, you say? my gosh. If I ate this, I would be full. So here's the thing. Remember, we, talk, we talked, mm -hmm. in the other interview, we talked about um, about full and feeling. Really select. Yeah. Okay. You have to train yourself to um, eat a different way. Yeah. It's kind of like, well, it's like we talked about in the other interview. You have to train yourself to think in a different way. Mm -hmm. This is the exact same thing. We're training ourselves to eat in a different way. Listen, my, when I was a kid, when I was a little kid, my idea of heaven was counters and counters, like rows and rows of tables with dessert on it, like not the raw kind, not yeah. the kind like I brought here. Just And so that's how I was raised. And then, but now... If I want a dessert, we're going to talk about this in a minute. We're going to come over here to our, <laughs> to our dessert. So what I eat in a day, start with the juice, start with a, oh, this is going to be too full, I think, huh? It's okay. That's the great thing about it. It just closes up. You can get it later. You know what I mean? Really? Mm hmm You can batch juice, so much juice with this, too. Or you drink Even though away. it can batch juice, and a lot of people love batch juicing, oh. I personally don't batch juice. Because, because you lose... It depends. If it's a juice like apple, a lot of lemon, ginger, something like that I'll make a few of. Mm -hmm. But green juice is never... I make it, drink it right away. Because it's not... When you sit in the fridge, then you drink it hours later the next day, it doesn't feel the same like... It's not. If you drink it right away, you're like, whoa, I'm buzzing. I've never felt better in my life. If you drink it the next day, you're like... Oh, like, it just feels pasteurized. Because, it, yeah, because it oxidizes. Yeah. Yeah, it is really true. Not with not with smoothies. Like, with smoothies, I make my batch, put them in the freezer, and I do all that. Mm -hmm. But with this, no. Oh, my God, this looks so good. Oh, Kevin, we didn't get you a glass. I can get Kevin a glass. Funny. You guys, Kevin's behind the camera. He's amazing. Without He's Kevin, amazing. a lot of these videos wouldn't exist. So we love Kevin. Exactly. Yeah. Elizabeth took an Instagram story. We showed the fridge and Kevin's eggs were in there. And she was like, look at Jillian's fridge. I was like, these are my eggs. People are probably like, oh yeah, Jillian. People always say raw vegans are eating meat behind the scenes. <laughs> I'm not. I never eat meat behind the scenes. Oh are God. you? Do you ever eat chicken, fish, never. eggs, anything? I Literally. I would never eat a piece of meat. I, it wouldn't even dawn on me. Like, I wouldn't want to. When was the last time? I was I was a teenager last time I had red meat. Wow. Literally, I was a teenager. What about a piece of fish? Same thing? Long time. Well, no, fish I was eating up until... Fish is... The, it's interesting. Fish is the one thing that I miss. Yeah, like yeah. salmon? Salmon. It's yeah. the one thing I miss. Like, that's the one thing I miss. But I feel so good on this that I don't... But that yeah. is... I don't miss junk. I don't miss. I don't miss chicken. I don't miss any of that. Yeah. It's just the salmon because there are some good nutrients in salmon. That's you know, the only thing. But this is Elizabeth's book. Go grab it. <laughs> I'll put it down below. Show her some love. Show her, show her support. Go Thank follow you. her YouTube channel, her Instagram. She's <laughs> oh, yeah, coming back on YouTube. Yes, yes, yes. So okay. cheers. Cheers. Oh my God, this looks amazing. Guys, look at this. Oh, this is the way yes. to live, oh, you guys. Oh my God. Oh, that's so nice. Good. That's so good. It's so good. Isn't it's it? so good. Oh my God. This is so good. Oh my God. There's nothing like it. There's, this Eating this way, it's the best thing that ever happened to me. Is that the case for you? Oh my God. Because it's, okay, so here's the thing. I want you guys to see this for just a second. This is living. This has life force. This came from the earth. We literally put it in a juicer and we're drinking it now. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, you can't get anything cleaner or healthier. To it put just in your body. It your cells. It zings you. You know, it really it's like does. Johnny the Juicer. When I interviewed him this morning before you, uh -huh. he was saying like, you know how alcohol, when you drink it, it just like goes through your bloodstream into your cells right away. It's kind of like juice, green juice does that too, but for the good, right? Um, in a good way. Alcohol is like for the bad, right? What's... This is like for the good. Oh my God, this is so for the good. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. So so this is what I would have, well, like when I'm working with my clients, but a big like you two, big one. Okay, so people want to know what time, when do you first start eating? Okay, so I... I sleep eight hours a night. 
And so I go to sleep around 9, 30, 10 o'clock, and mm -hmm. I wake up around 5, 36. Yeah, because people like to know the daily routine. Okay. Like yeah. you're getting up, what you're getting eight hours sleep. Sleep is important. Sleep, sleep is, is key. so important. Sleep is so key. So I'm getting eight hours of sleep. People always say, Dr. Elizabeth, what time do you wake up? I say eight hours after I went to sleep. <laughs> That's <laughs> literally what I do. And if I know I have to catch a plane and I have to be at the airport at 7, so I have to wake up at 4 to be out there by 5, I'll make sure I go to bed around 8.30. Mm -hmm. Like, I just do that. Mm -hmm. So that's number one. Number two, um, I wake up in the morning, I do my meditation, which is really important. Oh, when we do our other interview where we talk about, where we're talking about sex and love, we're also going to talk about fear and how, to, like that. how does fear and anxiety and how, how to, to release fear huge. and anxiety. It's so, so huge. So these are things that help us do that, but I'm actually going to talk to you guys about it because it's huge. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I have jicama as a snack. Sometimes you can dip it in sauces. Now, Let's go to some, oh, dates. These date rolls, this is just pure dates, mashed up, and coconut, uh, coconut, dates are, coconut rolls are good. Okay, dates are so good. So one of the other things I have often is cacao and maca. And I usually put this in some kind of either a, a drink, like a, um, like a smoothie drink, or something like that. And I usually make my own almond milk or cashew milk one of the two, and then mix this. And then I use some kind of a sweetener. Do you need a cutting board or no? Uh, maybe, let's see. Okay, so that's there. So cacao okay. with me, cacao is like a drug. You don't get that, like the ups and downs? I don't get the ups wow, and downs, but I've been good. having it, a, I've, I've had it a lot. Okay, so my next secret, these are the bomb. This is, uh, these are raw. All natural, they're pure. So instead of, um, it says here, instead of bread or tortillas, it's just coconut meat. Wow. Made into, I think it's made in a dehydrator. And it's made into, um, into these wraps. So it's, if you don't want a green wrap, you can instead do one of these. And this is amazing. So I'll show you guys what I do with these. Cool. This is, okay, this smell. Mmm, that, that smells good. Delicious. Oh, I've never seen these. You get them at Whole Foods? You can get these at Whole Foods. You can get, yes, you can get them at Whole Foods. You can also get them, there's a little shop, but it's local to, um, yeah. to where I live called Rainbow Acres. Cool. And I got them. In fact, I was like, they weren't where they usually are. I went yesterday and they weren't where they are. I was like, you need the rash. You have to find the rash. <laughs> I said, I need them. Because <laughs> they were in my house and I couldn't get yeah. in. I was just like, I couldn't get in my house to get them. So I was like, I <laughs> oh, need them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so just take a taste. So you eat these every day? Yeah. Not all, no, not every day, but if I'm gonna make if I'm gonna make a wrap. It's good, right? Wow. It's really good, right? Ella, this is coconut. That's really good for it's, a wrap. Yeah, right? So then what do you put inside so of those? I would lay the wrap out and then I would cut some um, pepper, some um, just bell pepper, cut some like orange yeah. pepper, cut up some pepper. Um, I also will do like you want a me to little get some? bit. Of, Are you gonna do it or no? Do we want it? Will you eat it? I won't because I'm hosting an event tonight with Lou okay. Corona. Oh, that's so nice. And I don't want to start eating yeah, yeah, new yeah. things because I don't okay. want to be too heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I if understand. you want to make it a show or eat it, then um, yeah, it's up to you. No, because I probably I'm I'm gonna eat this. Mm -hmm. So that Me I too. really want I really want the guys to know that I want to show you what I eat, but like I wouldn't eat the wrap and the watermelon. Like that wouldn't unless I eat the watermelon or maybe I eat the wrap first and then I let my body tell me. Mm -hmm. Like my body's like like when I like 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 after we we filmed a couple segments today, and so after we filmed the one segment, we both did each other. We're like, we're hungry. Yeah. And we're like, and we both went and grabbed some fruit, and we ate that. But then like after I ate some of the, I just ate some of the cantaloupe here. I ate a couple pieces, and I'm like, I'm good. Mm -hmm. I'll probably eat, after I'm done talking, <laughs> I'll eat some mm -hmm. of the watermelon. But I don't need that much, and I really want people to um, to have that as a takeaway. You don't. You really don't have to eat a lot. It's really mm -hmm. retraining yourself. Um, and the way you think about food, really, mm -hmm. is really mm -hmm. what it is. It's retraining yourself to think about the way you, like, you think about food and eating, really. Yeah. So let me see. So with the wraps, so let me sh I'll just share with you guys what I would put in the wraps. So one of the things I would do, which is amazing, because this has a little bit of a sweetness to it, doesn't it's it? It's nice. If you guys haven't gathered, I have a real sweet tooth. <laughs> no, it's, yeah, I get it. I really do. No, it's good. So what I would do with this wrap is I would put, if I had, like if I was 
wanting to eat, because a lot of times I just eat super, super light, and I don't, like, I don't eat a lot of raw cheeses and stuff like that, even mm -hmm. though they're raw. Sometimes mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. But if I wanted a snack and I was eating, eat, on a day when I was eating a little bit, quote, unquote, heavier, I would take, like, a raw cheese, um, like, some kind of raw cheese, mm -hmm. and I would spread that over this. Or you could do hummus as well, but raw cheese is really good. You mm -hmm. spread that around. Then I take the mango... And I slice up the mango, and I put the mango in there as well. And then I would put a little strip of vegetable. Mm -hmm. so either I would put kale, or I would put spinach, or I would put some kind of greens in there, and wrap it all up. Mm -hmm. And that's what I would have. And you'd have one or two? I would only eat one. That's good. Yeah, I don't eat a lot. Like yeah. One of the things I want people to know, and you guys see me in the gym. You guys see me in the gym. Mm -hmm. You see me dancing. Like when I, got, I went out salsa dancing for the first time on Sunday since I broke my toe. Mm -hmm. And I danced. I, I told myself, I should, you know, let me just be gentle. Let me just, if I have two, three, four dances, I'll be good. I danced mm -hmm. for three hours. Wow. Like I just, and I, I'm not, I don't. <laughs> Kevin was laughing. So you do the ju a couple juices. A couple of juices. Fruit. Wrap, fruit and then some treats of like some coconut dates. Exactly. I'll have and like, a smoothie. And I do oh yeah, I'll have at least one smoothie, sometimes okay. more smoothies. Yeah. Now I want to share this with so so that's that's like a sampling of probably what I would eat. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk for a second about my sweet tooth. I want to tell you guys one more thing about the wraps, because we, we let Kevin try them as well, and he's like, it's good, but it's a little sweet. So it's true. These are these are they have different flavors. They have curry, I think, mm -hmm. they have turmeric they have which are more savory but this is more sweet but I, I, I like things that are sweet mm -hmm. but what I do with this is like also I don't have almond butter very much I don't have high fats too often but I when if I do feel like that I would put almond butter over the wrap and then put like um, some kind of mango or some kind of fruit in there as well mm -hmm. which is amazing so wow. you can do lots of different things with these okay so now let's go to my favorite <laughs> These look so good. If cacao wasn't such a drug to me, I'm hosting an event tonight with Lucrona, like I said. So I don't want anything to throw me off. Otherwise, I would be eating these. These look, these are raw? Uh-huh. They're raw. Can I open them? Yes. You can smell it, too. Here, we'll open both. Oh, my gosh, you guys. They're raw truffles. Tell Chocolate me down below. Do you guys like cacao? Can you eat cacao? It does not oh, work yeah, yeah. for me, but it works for some people, and I wish that was me. It's, oh, my God. It does smell good. So you eat some cacao every day? Mm-hmm. Mm. It's good. I'm fine. These are locally made. Uh huh. Rainbow Acres has so many things. Wow. And the same here. Smell this. Mmm. Oh my god, that's so good. Oh wow, that smells good. Mm. That's a raw brownie. Uh huh. Oh, that's insane. <laughs> wow. Want chocolate? No, you're good. Mmm. Oh my god. I'll eat the rest of that later. Okay, that was my green juice. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Cheers. What would be? I wanted to ask you, what are these? Oh, I came in and oh. Elizabeth was wearing these glasses. Look, you guys. I was like, what is this? She's like, Julian, you need to see these. I'm like, what? So these are amazing. And I know Julian looks like she's 25, but she's actually 41. <laughs> and I can say that because you, you tell everybody. Oh, yeah. So these are what we call pinhole glasses. And what happens <laughs> is they're so amazing. I wish I had found these when I was in my 40s. I didn't, my eyesight didn't kind of shift and get a little blurrier. I had perfect 20-20 vision until I was 50. Wow. My optometrist kept saying, oh, next year, oh, it's going to, and by 45, it's like, what the hell? Like, your eyes aren't getting, their eyes are perfect. And I like, and then finally around 50, it started a little bit. I wish I'd had these earlier to, because this is like exercise for your eyes. What it does is the little holes cause your eyes to focus in and it improves your vision. Like regular glasses or contacts make your vision worse. This, you look, those, oh, yeah, you, right. no, you can't drive in them. Mm -hmm. But other than that, like you can wear them. I wear them when I work. Mm -hmm. So I'm on the computer, I wear them. And so they're amazing because I improved my eyesight so well, I didn't have to wear them. Now my eyesight got a little blurry again. because I, I just forgot, like I just, I didn't need them. My eyesight was so good. And this is like my late 50s, uh, early 60s. Wow. And then just recently, I was like, oh, I forgot to wear these. And so now I'm wearing them all the time. So that's part of the daily routine. It's so if someone's routine. like, give me your daily routine, you get up, you meditate, yeah. you go to the gym. I go to the gym. I know. I talk to clients. I, I, I talk to clients. So I have, I, my schedule is uh, private group clients, morning, afternoon, and then I have a block of time in between. And I take two hours, like 10 to 12, 30, something like that. And that's when I go to the gym. 
Then I come back, see if I see it, have any other private clients or group clients, I'll do that. And then I do my business. Mm -hmm. I call it, like, you know how you have to run your business. Yeah. So I, I do all my business stuff. Yeah. And then I have something to eat in the late afternoon. And I usually do something like I go for a walk, I go to the ocean, I go for a swim, I do something that just is out in nature. That mm -hmm. feels really, really That's good. That's what I was going to ask you to go in nature. That's important. Oh, my God. And it's not easy being allergic to the sun. Yeah. To do that. Like I you're have allergic. To, well, I don't like to claim that, but I have a high instant. I have a high sensitivity to the sun, a yeah. really in, an intolerance to the sun. Yeah. Like if you put me out in the sun, uh, especially in some place like Arizona, for an hour, I would be in serious trouble. Wow. Yeah, I would be. Well, you're fair too. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's not cute. Okay, so <laughs> let's talk for okay. a second about these yummies. So it's easier than you think to be raw vegan. Mm -hmm. it's easier than you think. Like, like we don't have time today, but we could make these. Like, mm -hmm. I could show you. A, with the cacao, you put the maca, the cacao, the dates. As a sweetener, you can put maple syrup. You can put agave, monk fruit. There's tons of different sweeteners. If you have a sweet tooth or a craving, like if I have some kind of sweet craving where I'm like, I really want something sweet, mm -hmm. I'll have this. Mm -hmm. Or I'll have one. I'll, but I won't eat all four of these. I'll have, like... A bite or two of one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you, you don't want to like be eating buckets of these every day. <laughs> that would not be cute. But if you have a little bit just to, mm -hmm. and what happens, what I notice, and you have to tell me if this is true for you. Mm -hmm. When you eat like this, when you eat really, really clean and really nourishing, you don't crave. The cravings for bad stuff goes away. It's go completely. Gone. Even if I'm around people that are like eating the old stuff I used to eat. You don't uh, even, even pizza or anything. And I used to live for pizza. <sighs> And you don't beer want it. And wine. I don't even want it. You don't no, want it. literally. Yeah, that's like because people I'm always. I'm so in love with the raw foods, and they get me excited. Like I go to bed, it's... and I'm like, I'm excited for my smoothie in the morning. <laughs> like, that's, you know, it's funny you say that because that's how I feel. Like mm -hmm. I, I won't have anything from like five, six o'clock in the evening. And then I'll go to sleep around tenish, and I wake up. I'm like, I'm like ready for my juice. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm dying for my, I'm, I'm wanting my juice, like, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? right? It's true. I love it. And so we, we want you guys to know that. So we would just say, just try it. Just try, just start. And, and then also I would say, if you've been eating unhealthy, mm -hmm. the key is to allow yourself to do the detox. Mm -hmm. Good right? point. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it's... Um, do you ever detox or do cleanses? You know, I'll do, like, I'll go days where I'll just have watermelon. Mm -hmm. I'll yeah. go days where I just have smoothies and juices. But I yeah. do that a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I don't I don't say, oh, I'm doing a fast now. I don't, because <laughs> yeah. I kind of do, the, I live in a state of that all the time. Like, yeah. kind of, that's the, what I showed you guys is what I eat. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't have, I'm not ha eating heavy wraps every day. I'm not eating, mm -hmm. I'm not eating, a, I'm eating, like, clean. Like, I almost brought it, but... Um, but it didn't look very good. I, there was a coconut at, at Rainbow Acres, mm -hmm. and I like I just cracked a coconut open, mm -hmm. and then I would have that like with the coconut meat. Like mm -hmm. it's it's simple. Mm -hmm. It's clean and simple. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Makes sense. Me too. So, so I would just invite you guys if it's if it's interesting. Nobody's like we're not trying to force you guys to do it. Yeah, now. you got to do what feels right for you. Exactly. If but you're drawn to it, give it a try. It might yeah. change your life. Like it changed my life by the oh end of the first day being raw. I felt so good. Isn't that crazy? I was like, I had no idea I could feel this good. So I've been hooked ever since. Seven years later, I love the it's lifestyle amazing. even more. And it's led me to my passion, my purpose, and meeting beautiful Wonderful. people like this. Amazing friendships. I got Elizabeth a little card because this it was so is... nice of her to drive to this oh Airbnb. Oh, my God, it's my pleasure. the content. Oh, this is... Pretty card. <gasps> oh, my God, this is beautiful. Look how pretty this is, you guys. Cute. Oh, what did you... Oh, just a little gift card. I oh thought, God, you know what? so I... sweet. All these people were so, so nice much. to come film, film content here, so I got some gift cards for people. Oh, me too, oh. for Whole Foods. Oh, my God. You know I'm going to use that. <laughs> That's amazing. That was so sweet no, of you. No, I was happy to. I was just telling Julia, I said, I feel so badly. I said, you know, I really don't eat a lot. It's kind of what you, it's funny. My most popular videos and the videos people ask for the most are what I eat in a day videos. Mm -hmm. And I hesitate doing it because... If you read through the comments, I mean, they're all lovely comments, but some people, that's, how does she survive in that? It's not a lot of food. And I don't eat a lot. Like, I just, I just don't eat a lot of food. Well, you know, I, like I said, I interviewed Brian Clement recently right. in Miami, and he said, I forget how many studies, I think it was like 2,000, or I forget however many, but you know, all he does is study everything. Right. And he said, like, the longest living people, and I think he said, like, the healthiest people, it's, you eat high quality nutritional foods, but you yeah, don't eat a lot not. of it. 
So it's good. It's better it's, than overeating. Oh, it's completely. Good. And you're doing what works for you. Everybody's got to do it. If, if it works for you to eat massive salads and massive this right. and that, then do it. Right. We're not telling you. We're just showing you what we do. Right. That's yeah. all. Yeah. <laughs> well, cheers. I'm going to make more green juice and eat the watermelon. Cheers. And stay tuned. Subscribe. We have so many yes. amazing videos coming with Elizabeth and so many other incredible people. And we love you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Ciao.